Akhenaten, you're free! Let's get out of here! Let us leave now, but I will be back to deal with Amir Tech. Oh great Isis! Amir Tech is already here! Well, what do we have here? The little lovebirds want to fly away? I am afraid that is not going to happen. Annabelle would have been my wife a long time ago if she had not fallen in love with you, boy. Just for that, I will cut out your heart, and with Isis as my judge, you shall be doomed to eternal sorrow. Amirtek, you had better think about where your current actions will lead you after you die. You insolent boy, no one can match my strength. I will crush you, and I shall do it in front of the princess so she can see that I am the strongest, not only in mind and power, but also in combat. Of course, she will cry a little over your lifeless body, but trust me, I know how to make her happy, and over time, she will forget all about you, Akhenaten. Annabelle, the priest has a magical talisman that makes him invincible. If we do not destroy it, I will have no chance. Please try to find it, my love. Oh. Are you okay? Sorry, my head was spinning and I was dizzy there for a second. But I'm okay now. Please continue with your story. Really? Okay. 
So Annabelle managed to escape from Amirtek's palace. She made it to the ship only to discover her prince tied up and exhausted. They were taken to a remote temple so they could be sacrificed to the god Seth. But the princess managed to rescue Akhenaten. He got into a duel with the sinister priest and defeated him. The evil priest's remains were thrown into the Nile, where they were eaten by crocodiles. And that's how the story ends? That's right. Annabelle married Akhenaten, and they ruled Egypt together. Did they have any children? Of course. They had six children, and their firstborn son even captured Syracuse when he got older. What an interesting story. Annabelle, you look a little pale. Now, I know I'm not Akhenaten, but perhaps you'll let me escort you outside for some fresh air. Or even better, I know a fantastic restaurant not far from here, right on the bank of the Nile. I'm sure you'll love it. There's a wonderful view of the sunset. You can see with your own eyes, Ra, the sun god, as he gives way to Thoth, the god of the moon. That sounds like a wonderful suggestion. Let's go. Great. You won't regret it. <laughs>